Senator Hur. Thank you, Mrs. President. I rise to commend the authors um, and the body of the Senate for bringing this bill forward with urgency. Um, as a senator that represents a district with disparities and um, high percent of low income and metro transit dependence and non-English speaking with, uh, with culture barriers, um, I want to know if this bill or this contingency account will provide resource to streamline communication to these communities as well as having um, intake lines in other language for uh, for their information. And, and Mr. President, I, I would like to see if uh, Senator Benson will yield. Senator Benson will yield. Senator Hurd. Uh, Senator Benson, um, I'm not going to attempt to amend to this bill, but I just want to ask, ask if this bill has the flexibi flexibility in its account to fund communication to communities that I have just mentioned. Senator Benson. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Herr. I would put that under um, the seventh point of the options, patient outreach activities. Those would have to, of course, um, be suitable for the culture that they were trying to outreach to, the population they were trying to reach. Um, I know Senator Hayden had raised a question about the Somali population. I think if you're trying to reach them to help flatten the curve, um, that you would make sure that it was appropriate um, and welcoming so that you could be successful in helping them engage in this public health e effort. Senator Herr. Uh, Mr. President, Senator Benson, will you yield for another follow-up question? Senator Benson will yield. Senator Herr. Uh, Senator Benson, uh, will you um, continue to work or work directly with senators from both party um, and communicating the needs for um, multicultural outreach or intake information from um, community with language barriers, um, relay those information to the agency and to the healthcare facility that should be working with people. Would you be open to that um, leadership or leading that role uh, as an ongoing process? Senator Benson. Thank you, Mr. President and Senator Herr. If, if you would help me to do that, I am happy to participate. Um, I think you would be more effective in leading me there, and I will be happy to support where you're going. So thank you. Senator Herr. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, and thank you very much, Senator Benson, uh, for your response. And as um, uh, each of us as a senator, we all have our unique perspective, and my perspective is very, very different, uh, being that I'm a person of refugee background, um, uh, have a unique struggle uh, living in inner city and um, sometimes being looked at as an outsider than an insider. And so I just want to say that I'm, when I look at this bill, I'm worried for all Minnesota, and at the same time, I also worry for our healthcare facility not being able to uh, do intake on our most vulnerable, vulnerable communities, and we may miss uh, on fully handling the containment of this uh, COVID-19 virus here. So, but then at the same time, I'm hopeful, and I also. That's why I'm speaking up to put this on the record so that it's here for agency and for our senator legislator to, to hear that if we put everything holistically and for getting the vulnerable, then maybe you may miss some opportunity. So I just thought I want to communicate, communicate that point to everyone. And I appreciate Senator Benson for a good response. So Thank you very much, Mr. President. Further discussion on the bill? Senator Marty? Uh, 